dressed in all black, Mary Max style. No buttons, gorilla, silver back style. Whole pack wild, spray the hollow tips in the background. As I rule a thumb, I can act wild. I look the game as a cash cow. When I wear a crown like a sack town, never back down round. Yeah. What is up, SL Nation? It's your girl, Shay, and I'm back with another video. If you are new to this channel, please hit that red button and join the family. If you've been rocking with us for a while, welcome back. You guys, today I am finally doing my long-awaited skincare routine video. Um, people have been requesting for me to do this for a long time. I'm sorry, I know I know because I've just been a little bit busy, got a lot of stuff going on with the family, so I haven't been able to record it until now. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, you guys, and I'm so sorry that I just took so long to do it, but here it is. Um, let's get started with the video. I will show you guys what products I will be using um, for the skincare routine. So you guys, here are the products that I will be using for the skincare routine. Um, the first thing I will be using is just some Noxzema, just the old school Noxzema. So next is going to be the Aveeno Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser. You guys, I love this product. Um, not sponsored by them at all, but Aveeno, holler at your girl. This is my one of my favorite products ever, you guys. If I go more than two days without using this I can definitely tell I really really love this product and the next thing is some good old witch hazel and last but not least the Aveeno clear complexion daily moisturizer you guys all of these products that I use for my skincare routine can be purchased from any of the local drug stores, Target, Walmart, CVS, any of those stores. I will put the name of the products down in the description. So it will be the name of the product and the prices. If you want the links, just let me know and I will provide those for you guys. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my, my hair back. Um, I don't want to get my hair wet. I have super curly hair. And if it gets wet, I'm going to be looking like Michael Jackson in the 70s. So, I'm going to put my hair up. Okay. You want to make sure that you have a washcloth handy because you're going to need that. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the Noxzema. I'm actually almost out. I'm going to wet my face with hot water. Um, the reason why I'm starting with hot water is because... Hot water will open your pores and it will release um, the oils in your skin or on your face that cause acne. And so you want to get rid of that. Or if you wet your face with hot water first, it will open up those pores. So it doesn't have to be hot where you're burning your face, of course, but um, just hot enough to um, where you can stand it. So you can either put your face down and wet your face that way or you can use the washcloth. I'm actually going to put my face down because I feel like it's easier and I can cover a lot of surf surface faster. So now that my face is wet, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Noxzema. And you just want to do it with your fingers. Um, I just use my fingertips and I rub it all over my face. Like so. Just want to massage it in. All right, so once you get it on your face, I just like to massage it in like this. You know, just massage in your face. Give yourself a little massage, face massage. Just massage it in like that for a minute or so. I mean, you can leave it on for as long as you want, but I just leave it on, you know, for a minute or two. All right, so I will see you guys once it's been a full two minutes. 2,000 years later. Okay guys, it has been about two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and wash the Noxzema off my face. Um, you can do it two ways. You can put your face down in the water and rinse it off or you can wipe it off with the rag. Again, I am going to use hot water this time. Um, so let me just rinse it off and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, you guys, it's all rinsed out. It's all rinsed off of my face. So now we're gonna go on to the next step. And the next step is 
the Avino Clear Complexion. So you guys, let me tell you a quick little story about this. Um, I started using this maybe about, through, I'll say three years ago. About three years ago, and before I used this, um, I was trying all kinds of stuff, and nothing worked for me. I am one of those people that have a... Um, they have an oily t-zone so your t-zone if you don't know is right here and my t-zone is super oily and then the rest of my face is dry and so i started using this and i swear this really works for me but this product right here is something that i highly recommend um it has um it's a foaming cleanser and it has salicylic acid and um soy extract and you guys, like I said, this product really works well for me and I love it. So I, I use this every day, but with that being said, let me tell you a little bit about this. So you guys, the Olive Ole Pro X looks like this and it comes with two different attachments. Okay, so this is like a foam head. It's really foamy and squishy. It's like a foam head. It's like a polisher. Um, this is not something that I use every day because I feel like this um, will dry out my skin. So I don't use this every day. I actually don't even use this every day. I feel like using this every day will dry out my skin. I'll use it every day or every other day. On the days that I don't use this, I just take this product and massage it into my face just like I did the Noxzema. So this is the second attachment. is a little brush and this is the one that I'm going to be using today. So I just want to attach the brush on, like so. Um, it has an off and on button here, and then this is, this controls the speed. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to turn it on, and I usually turn it on the highest setting. This time I'm going to wet my face with cold water. Um, what cold water does is cold water will close your pores and will tighten your skin. So we've already, you know, got the oils. We're still working on the oils, but now we want to close our skin up and starting to tight, start to tighten it because we've already cleaned it, but now we're going to deep clean it with this. So I'm going to wet my face with cold water. This is what it looks like, you guys. It's foamy. So I'm just going to apply it on my face. Like so. Just like I did with the Noxzema. Alright, I'm going to take my little um, cleanser and I'm going to wet the tip of it with cold water. I'm going to turn it on. I usually turn it on the um, highest setting and then I will go in and just start to massage it into my face. And what I do is, is I just make little circles. The brush is already going in little circles, but um, I don't know. I just feel like it gets extra clean if I make little circles on my face so what you want to do is, is you just want to massage it around your whole face and I usually do this for about two minutes all right so once it has been two minutes then you want to rinse your face off with cold water and once again you can use your washcloth washcloth or you can just put your head down and you guys, when I'm um, drying my face off, I like to pat my face dry versus like rubbing it like this because it tends to stretch your skin. And we know what happens when your skin gets stretched. It causes wrinkles. Ladies, we don't want wrinkles. So I'm just patting my face dry. The last step is the witch hazel, the toner. And you don't have to use this if you don't want. This is just something that I grew up on. My mom used to use it. And basically what it does is it kind of balances the, um, it removes and balances oils that are left on your face. And it soothes and refreshes your face. That's what I like about it because it just feels like, now my face just feels super clean and, and tight and tingly from the Noxzema. So now I just want to take some of this toner um, on a cotton ball and just, you know, rub it on my face. Balances out any oils or anything left on my face or just if there's anything left It's just going to remove it which your face should be super clean by now So the last step in the skincare routine is going to be the Moisturizer now I have two different moisturizers that I use you guys the first moisturizer I use um, I usually use it at nighttime and it's the Palmer's 
um, cocoa butter formula and I usually use this at night before I go to bed because I feel like it just leaves my face feeling really moist moisturized and it you know smooths out any dark marks or anything that you may have on your face um, during the day what I like to use is this Aveeno clear complexion daily moisturizer um, this is a little bit different when you put it on your face it doesn't feel like your face is super moisturized because I feel like it kind of absorbs into your skin but I feel like it works really well and it helps prevent breakouts so I really like this but for this video since it's kind of the middle of the day I'm you know I'm off today and um, I'm just kind of hanging out I'm gonna go ahead and use the the Palmer's cocoa butter and I just want to put a little bit on and I actually did not get a little bit I got a lot <laughs> so I'm just gonna put that on to my face and it feels super, makes my face feel super moisturized. It doesn't feel like my face is dry and cracking. All right, you guys, there you have it, the skincare routine. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comment section and I will respond to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.